up until two years ago, I used to mentally burn out before I physically burnt out. So if I went on one, I'd mentally burn out, then there'd be a right lull. He knows. I let him know. I called him up a couple of times since I've got out of jail, telling him that his time was coming. I've let him know. But anyone can do it over the phone. So, then one night before I become homeless, it got to the stage where my head was telling me I had to go. His time was now. And I've gone to his house and kicked his door in. And there was a girl in there screaming, so I left her. I've run round and there's another door upstairs locked and I just kept headbutting it and punching it till it just fell away. I went through the middle of it and and nobody was there. I've gone into another room and I've seen this other woman weeping on the floor. So I've picked her up, you know, I've let her know that I ain't coming to hurt her. But she's seen it as threatening and she's run off. So I've gone out of his front door there and then that's when I've seen all the police. There he was. It's like one of their cars. <laughs> you didn't get me, did you? He laughed at me. He then ran off into his garden, shouting to the two coppers with the dog. He's got a knife! He's got a knife! He's got a knife! And they set the dog on me. And the dog took the arm clean off my jacket and bit me straight through the arm, even though I didn't have no knife. Oh, knife! And I started saying to them, What are you doing? Protecting a fucking kitty fiddler. Hmm? What are you doing protecting a, f a fucking, a fucking child molester? Scum! Cunt! Nonce!